He's coming out. He's coming out. He's jumping. <laughs> They're all base jumping snails today, ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable. Unbelievable amount of snail base jumps. Wow. You guys are crazy today. It's like point break in here. Hey, everybody. It's Jack and Dan. What's up, guys? We're finally making some progress over here on the beta tank and the pothos. In addition, we were very lucky today to witness uh, some extraordinary snail jumping, weren't we? Yes, we were. We have an unbelievable amount of snail jumps today. This is usually a pretty rare thing that you just see once in a while. Maybe we catch it once in a while, you know? But holy cow, Jack's got the giggles because he can't believe how many times they did it. It was like 10, 20 times we caught on film. So we're going to show you some of that footage too when we show you some close-ups. And uh, we're going to kind of show you how we did all this and some of this. And I got my Daniel Keeping Fish shirt on that he just sent us. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's neat. Like it's a V-neck. Fancy, Daniel. I'm totally impressed. I might wear this for a night out on the town. It's so fancy. If you look outside, it's actually 2 in the afternoon. But it looks like it's 9 o'clock at night, doesn't it, kiddo? Yes. That's because it's thunderstorming all day. So we said, hey, we can't work outside in the yard or anything. Let's work on this tank. So we moved it in here. It's been about a month. We had this little kind of fish thing here, and the vines are starting to grow up onto that. And as we said, we're going to start spreading them across the wall here, all the way across atop the head of the bed. So we want to have the vines and the pothos go down around all the, the arms here. So they're going to grow into all the other tanks here. They're going down this side. They're going down that side. They're going up. And we got some little brackets. We went to Home Depot and they had a little sale, didn't they? Yeah, they did. We got some stainless steel screws. Um, two bucks a pack, so 50 cents a screw. We, we know that the pothos a lot of times holds water. We didn't want any rust or anything. And these are really nice ones. They have like little brown heads on them. We thought that that would look pretty good because my bedroom is pretty much like all brown. And this, what is this color? Like a teal? Yeah, I don't know. Aqua blue. Eh, it's cool. So everything matches. It's going to be really awesome. We're going to post these up here in the studs and just kind of leave them out a little bit. You're just going to see a little brown dot and start branching this pothos up. So it's going to go all the way across the bedroom here. We also have some new guys in there we're going to share with you and move some other stuff around. And we're gonna add a heater because winter time is coming. Not too far away, is it? No. It's always, it's always knocking on the door in Cleveland. Sadly. Put those in across. Um, kind of made them, you know, evenly spaced above the headboard there. And honestly, very surprised at how much the horse thing matches. And Mickey said that that is an old, very old Chinese image of horses running. And what, what did he say that that meant? Well, he said that it meant everything will keep going, everything will be okay. He gave it to us yeah. for uh, New Year's. And he it says, keep going. Because they keep running. Just keep going. Isn't that a great philosophy? I like it. And it matches awesome. So we got a few of these first branches kind of started here. And they're just coming up here on these. This one almost reached the third one. So what we'll do is as they continue to grow, they'll grow up, they'll grow down, they'll mess all in. And, and then pretty much this whole wall will just be filled of this, you know, ivy uh, pothos. It's really getting super thick up front here. So we took some of those off those side that way. There's still some going down here that are going to go into the other tanks. And then this side because we can't really take them over. I mean, some of them are going over here and they will eventually kind of come over here too. But these are gonna go more so into the other tanks. And it's just gonna keep spreading. It's really, really cool, really cool. So we are gonna be putting a tank on the bottom there first. And then as you can see that pothos goes all the way down there. So these will be going into these other tanks and then maybe branching off. And then again, it's just gonna be all kind of coming off that top across here. And then if it gets too full, obviously we can trim it, you know? But uh, we're gonna get some close-ups at a tank here, kind of show you the new guy here a little better and some of the other stuff going on here. So as far as what's going on inside the tank, we've got these two female uh, calico bristle nose, very beautiful little girls, getting bigger. There is my zodiac sign cube. 
um, that she is cleaning because we were stirring things around, moving things around, so she's fixing it up already. Sagittarius here is Jax, and the other young lady is over on his. Well, right behind his. And cleaning his. Of course, his is Aquarius. How you doing? She's a little bigger. So they can squeeze in between those little spots and clean all that up. So that's why we love those gals in here. Now what we do have, of course, Cap's up here because... We're messing around in his tank, and he's like kind of hiding. We have a new dude in here. You can see right there. We're going to get some better shots, but we have a royal blue Pleco. Our LFS Best in Pets had an amazing deal on some of these guys. They were relatively small. We are going to get some better close-ups, and we thought he's about the same size as Cap. And we thought, hey, they're both blue. They might match well. We did get this little heater in here, just kind of hanging on the back. Old-fashioned hang-on-the-back heater, real cheap, that we basically just threw in here because, again, winter's coming. Probably not going to use the wood burners this year. So just going to put heaters in these small little tanks. All these snails are doing awesome, just totally awesome. Look at these guys. But we're going to get bamboos doing great. Two, totally awesome there, growing tons of roots. Did put a small piece of driftwood in front here for the Pleco. And of course, he's usually on there, resting on front there, right in front. And then of course, when we come out, he'll kind of go in the back. We took this tiny little hurricane and put it where we had the JD symbol, the Jack and Dan symbol, because that vinyl started coming off a little bit of the back. And so, we didn't want it to fall apart. Definitely didn't want it to like poison the tank or anything. So we put this little hurricane in so that that colored light can go up. So we'll show it all lit up at the end. But yeah, snails are doing great. We did a video recently of them walking on top of the water. There's another one doing it actually right there. Just water surface surfing in the middle of the day. They're all doing good. They're all getting quite a bit bigger. You can see this one here. I mean, there's my thumbnail. They were, you know, the size of a pin about, I don't know, four or five months ago when we did a little feeding time-lapse video of them. So they're getting big and they're everywhere and they're doing good and all these roots are doing good. But anyway, we're going to get the lights off and get this stuff going and we'll do some better shots and maybe show Cap having dinner too because he loves eating dinner and he's doing so well. All right, we got the lights off now. And a lot of stuff has settled since we were messing around. These little gals are going around fixing stuff up here. There's one of them on the filter back there. One here, cleaning off all the glass. There's Cap, he's coming up. He's like, what's up? Where's my food, dudes? He loves just hanging out in these roots. It's very natural. It's very similar to their natural environment. Betas live in rice paddies full of roots and leaves. And, uh... They just, they just love it. And he loves that feeling of security and just hangs out in there and sleeps in there. But the big blue Pleco, the Royal Pleco, is hiding. You can see him just on the tip there. I'm gonna get some footage of him later and add it in because he likes to come out when there's not so much of a ruckus. Oh, there you go. Once in a great while, you see a, you see a snail take a dive. Isn't that funny? Just jump from like one root to the next. Pew, pew. Oh, there goes another one. Look at that. Two in a row. Unbelievable. It's always cool when they do that. They do that all the time, these guys. Oh, oh, oh wait, am I going to get the big one? Maybe? Yes! Three in a row. Unbelievable. I got to play the lottery today, dude. Isn't that amazing? Yes. <laughs> That's cool. You never see like that many at one time. Yeah, Jack loves when they jump. He always makes a big deal. He's like, oh, I saw one jump. It's like they're leaping. It's like they're Batman, but Snailman. That's, oh, and there's another one that just went on the back. That's, cr oh, then there's another one. This guy just jumped, but I missed it. He jumped out of the frame. What the heck? Like four or five in a row there. You never see that. That's crazy. Yeah, it must have been when I turned off the lights or something. Maybe it set them off or something. That's cool. But anyway, oh, he's going to do it again. He's going to do it again. 
<laughs> oh, he missed. <laughs> well, if you've never seen snails jump, that was about a record amount in like a minute. Unbelievable. Normally, you don't see that many at one time. Wow, that's crazy. Well, that was super fun. Anyway, these guys are doing fantastic. I'm going to turn this one light on here just to show you a little more. Um, the plants are doing awesome. The, I mean, the leaves are growing like crazy, even inside the water. They're growing out from the outside. Like this one here actually came out from the inside. Started on the inside and grew out and is coming down the front here. And there's, there, that's probably one of his favorite spots. He likes hanging out up in here in this little corner cap does with his snail buddies and that. There's one of the little girls, look how good she looks. And they always are going back and forth on the driftwood and everything there. Always going back and forth on this driftwood and usually the big guys too. I'll get some footage of the big guy. He is baby, he's small for a Royal Blue Pleco. He is small, they will get quite large and he will have to be rehomed into another tank around here. He may last for a while in here. There's his head right there on the top of that sponge. I'll get some better footage of, and there went another snail leap. Unbelievable. This dude just came down from up there. That's like seven in two minutes. Unbelievable. They're just in the mood today. I don't know what's going on. And they're, you got to be kidding me. There went another one. And another one right behind him. I don't know what's going on. These guys are hilarious today. They're just jumping left and right. Should have just made this a snail jumping video. <laughs> but anyway... Uh, we made some progress. We got the we got the pothos to start on the screws. First screw right away. Second screw. This one will be there probably in a week or so. This one's already on it. This one almost reached the third one. And again, we'll just pass them back and forth and everything. It'll be really, really, really cool. I'm gonna get some close-ups. I just saw another snail jump off of there, dude. I'm not even kidding. Look, there goes another one. I can't even believe all these snail jumps. Usually you maybe get lucky and see one a day or something. They're just they're just jumping like crazy today. There it goes, this, two in a row. Look at that. That's the funnest thing ever. I love when they do that. Jack loves it too, don't you, kiddo? Yeah, it's fun. Jack's laying on the ground. He's had enough work today. Wow, these guys are so cool today. They're just jumping all over the place today. Look at this guy. Let's see, maybe he's going to jump inside of the little cylinder. Yep. <laughs> That's hilarious. I don't know what's with these dudes. I could just film this all day. Totally hilarious. All right, there's the beautiful boy. He's right behind Jack's Aquarius symbol. Got a couple of snails in front of his face. But what an amazing guy. I've always loved these plecos. Used to have a pretty big one years ago. Snail's covering his eye, but when he moves out of the way, you see how big their eyes are. The cool part about these royal blue plecos, they're, they're mostly like their head. Like they have smaller bodies and larger heads than other plecos. You can see like this little girl right here, you know, the way that their body is shaped. These guys are much more round and kind of bulbous. See his big, huge eye right there? his big eye what a beauty look at that blue and black color wow he's doing really good and their tail has like white stripes so you can kind of see through the cube there kind of like these white stripes it's it's almost clear but that's probably as close as he's gonna let us get right now um super super nice guy totally getting along with cap no problems there helping to clean the tank he does sit a lot of times um right up here on the driftwood and hangs out with these young ladies. Doesn't seem to have any problems with them. He just kind of went in the back a little bit there. You could see his tail a little bit more when he when he waved it there. But yeah, he's doing awesome. Very, very happy with him. He seems to be getting along with Cap real good and everything's cool with them. We will be doing some updates. We will be showing more of him and everybody else in here and just kind of like how this whole thing is going. But super happy we ended up moving this into the bedroom. I love having it in the bedroom. I love having it in here. I love having the lights on at night. I love the fact that the plants are growing. And I love the fact that everything just kind of matches. 
and I'm totally digging it. So we are going to next be building a princess tank. A lot of people call it a sorority tank. We're going to be calling it a princess tank. We're going to be putting a tank down here for some females that we are going to be selecting to breed with Cap and see if he, see how he handles all that. And then he will live in here. If he is, if we are able to breed him, he will live in here with the babies. If not, we are going to make one of these racks a smaller, a smaller tank. Basically, we're going to call it a man cave because if the babies are in there and he doesn't get along with them, we're going to be able to put him into his own little situation until we're able to decide what we want to do with the babies. We may sell them, we may keep them, we may give them to friends or something, we'll see. But uh, yeah, very happy on how this is all going. Look at this young lady here, she's cute. She's not really calico like the other one, she's just a regular bristle nose. Got those beautiful spots, look at her kick that snail out of the way with her tail. She was like, get out of my way. They don't put up with any, <laughs> she got him again. She's like, get off my rock, dude. This is my rock. She's going to hashtag me too, this guy, in a second. She's like, back off. <laughs> you getting along with everybody, Cap? He's doing so good. He loves cutting across this middle, and then he'll go over to the vines on this side. You know, he'll be over here where, where the vines are, and he'll kind of cut across the middle, and then he'll kind of come over and hang out on this side. We will do a feeding video here soon too, and may, maybe another time lapse because all these snails are bigger and uh, probably do a time lapse or a feeding video again. But anyway, guys, so far so good. Really digging it. Really digging how this is all coming out. Much better than I thought it would. There he goes. Yep, he's taking another one. Having another piece of shrimp. There he goes. Can't decide if it wants to focus on him or the snail. feed video where we put in a little frozen block of blood worms because he just tears it apart there he is with his tail open there see he did it it's actually clear you can see right through that but that's the thing about these guys they're like short and stubby and kind of more round than most other plecos that's the cool part about it but they still do get very big like common plecos they'll get like a foot long they'll get huge even bigger. Look at this little snail kind of coming up on him, and he's not even moving. He's just kind of chilling with the snails. It's funny. But yeah, we really like him a lot. He's really cool. He's been in here well over a month, and him and Cap seem to be getting along really well. I think we got another jumper. Yes? Maybe? One more? Come on, dude. Well, that's one of the big ones. Come on, dude. Do it. Do it. Yes. Oh. <laughs> there he goes. No. <laughs> He's thinking about it. Look at those antenna going. Yeah, sometimes they just kind of drop down these roots. Wow, look at the foot. He's got his foot stretched out. Isn't that amazing? He just stretch that foot all the way out. He grab all those little roots. And use your antenna for like balance and stuff. I thought he was jumping. Can't believe how many of these we got today. Here he goes. <laughs> yes. Another one. You're awesome, dude. Face jumping snails. Isn't that great? The antenna on this guy or something. Look at the antenna on this guy. 
They're all over the place. So long. He's doing that. There's there's no current in here. There's like no current in here. He is waving those things around. What a cool dude this one is. All right, guys. So that pretty much sums it up. We had a pretty spectacular day. It was total thunderstorms. Couldn't do anything outside at all. We decided to spend a little bit of time on this tank. Only took us about two hours. We were messing around. We got the vine set. We got the awesome ta tapestry set up at the top of the the bed headboard here. This is going to be so cool. We're going to keep doing videos on the progress of this and this tank and everything. Um, you know, overall, we're super, super, super happy on how this is all going. And we're just going to keep, you know, doing updates and adding other tanks. And um, let us know what you think of everything and how it's going on this shelf and, and with, with the, with the uh, plants and the snail drop. There, another one just jumped. I mean, they're unbelievable today. And uh, what you think of the new guy and how everything else is going. And uh, we will see you next time, okay? Yes. Later, 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 later.